And I want to show you some settings I use. And I also want to talk about the sidechain filter and the threshold ratio attack release and make up gain. And I don't want to talk too much, so let's jump straight in. So for the drums, I use Quim drums in this example. I'm sure you already know these. These sound fantastic. And as you can see here, I have routed out all the single instruments into the Cubase mixer. And they sound like this. And here is my drum group. And as you can see here, there is nothing going on, just the bus compressor. So let's start with the default setting of the plugin. It looks like this. So you have threshold ratio attack release, the makeup gain. So let's begin with a very basic setting for bus compression. And I also call it a safe setting. So let's use a ratio of 2 to 1, which is already set here. And let's use the slowest attack, in this case 30 milliseconds. You can use the auto release or let's say the fastest release, in this case 0.1 seconds. And then dial in some gain reduction. And now you can already hear the effect the compressor has to the overall drum bus. And let's dial in some makeup gain so we can hear the difference better without being too distracted of the volume jump. And the makeup gain, I always do this just by ear. I know these are not the exact same levels, but I just do this by ear and that's fine for me. It's all about mixing with the ear for me and it does the job very well. Now let's have a look at the sidechain filter here and look at the meter and listen to the sound when I engage the sidechain filter let's say to 90 hertz. And as you can see, when the sidechain filter is off, the compressor is more reacting to the low end. In this case, the kick drum and the toms and when the sidechain filter is set to 90 Hz, it's more reacting to the snare, which I really like for my drum bus. And yeah, so let's say we want a ratio 4 to 1 and dial in some gain reduction. And that's it. The snare has already a nice little smack. With just the slowest attack time and the fastest release, you can go a little bit further, let's say an attack time of 10 milliseconds, but be careful with this, otherwise the transients are choked off too much. Most of the time I use this setting with the attack time of 30 milliseconds, sometimes 10 milliseconds. But when I choose 10 for the attack, then I go for a ratio of 2 to 1. Whenever you have problems with hearing the effect of the compressor, there is a little trick I use, or a little tip, let's say. And I'll dial in some heavy gain reduction, really too much, and then you can play around with the attack setting. And then you really can hear the effect the compressor has to the overall drum bus. So let's do this.
And as you can hear, with these fast attack times, the drums are heavily compressed. All the transients are choked off. And let's go back to 30 and 10. And you already can hear the smack of the snare is coming back when I switch to the slower attack times. That's a little bit hard to demonstrate because whenever I choose a faster attack, the gain reduction is higher. And whenever I choose a slower attack, the gain reduction is of course lower. So as I said before, a good setting is always 30 milliseconds for the attack time and the fastest release or the auto release. So let's set it to auto release. And then go back to a gain reduction, let's say 2 to 4 dB. In this case, I like the fastest release more than the auto setting, to be honest. You always have to find a good way, a good, let's say, a good middle way to dial in this compressor. In this case, it's a ratio of 2 to 1 and the attack with 10 milliseconds and a little bit less gain reduction, but also a more safe setting is attack time of 30 milliseconds and then you can choose a ratio of 4 to 1 or let's say also 2 to 1 and you can go for a little bit more gain reduction. And again, listen to the snare, the smack of the snare, when I engage this compressor. So yeah, I really like this for my drum bus. And that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If so, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you on the next one.